Hello and welcome to the final episode of the Flavorful Summer of Steam 2021. Today we're making 3D Surfinski Triangles. Here are the materials you will need. You will need some color pencils or markers, scissors, some tape, and 16 triangular pyramid templates, which I've linked in the description below. Now, let's get started. Thank you to Neo and my cousins Megan and Nathan for helping with this video. The first step is to cut out the templates of the pyramids. Try to cut as carefully along the lines as possible. This will ensure that the pyramids are the correct shape. The next step is to color them in. You can opt to color them in in a solid color or do different patterns. It's really up to you. Here are some of our colored in templates. Notice how we only colored in three sides for most of the pieces. This is because the bottom side will act as a base and doesn't need to be colored in. The next step is to fold along each of the dotted lines on your template. This will help create the pyramid structure. Don't worry if you all work at a different pace for this part of the project. Just get folding and coloring away as you wish. The next step is to add tape to the corners of the pyramids. This will secure them into their pyramid shape. Be patient with this part, as it can often be hard to fold the pyramids into the correct shape and tape at the same time. Now that all of your pyramids are created, it's time to put them all together. Tape the pyramids together by the corners. They should come together to make a triangle. Once you're done with this triangle base, add the last pyramid on top. This should create a larger pyramid with some triangular holes in the middle. Now with these larger pyramid units, tape them together to create an even larger pyramid. This is our 3D Sierpinski triangle. Thanks for all the help with this video, guys! Now it's time to look at what a Sierpinski triangle is. A Sierpinski triangle looks like this, and it is known for being a fractal of equilateral triangles, which I'll explain more in a second. First, let's learn what an equilateral triangle is. An equilateral triangle is a triangle that has three equal sides. It also means that all of the angles in the triangle are the same, at 60 degrees. Now let's get back to what Sierpinski triangles are. Here we have that image of the Sierpinski triangle from earlier, but instead of just showing one, we're showing how they can all be layered together. Sierpinski triangles follow two rules. The first is that at every empty corner, you have to add another triangle, and the second is that at every corner where two triangles meet, you don't add another triangle. This might be confusing at first, but when we think about how we build the Sierpinski triangle in 3D, it makes a lot more sense. Think about adding supports to a 3D structure where you're building it layer by layer. Ideally, you want to add supports where there aren't already existing supports. This is the same idea behind the Sierpinski triangle. The Sierpinski triangle is just one example of what a fractal is. Fractals don't have to exclusively be made out of triangles. Instead, fractals are just repeating patterns that follow specific rules, allowing them to continue indefinitely. You can also see fractals in nature, for example, in this vegetable on the left or in the shell on the right. Where else can you find repeating fractal patterns? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of the Flavorful Summer of Steam 2021. Please subscribe, like, and share for future videos. 